Hello and welcome back to Until Dawn! Uh, I went back to the gate that I had to go to last episode because I completely forgot and I didn't want to go into the woods and we're now heading toward the Bone Shack, apparently. Over the river and through the woods to death, di murder, and dismay. And dismemberment. <sighs> There's just a lot of poor life decisions being made. And I'm doing my best to keep them from hurting themselves. I'm trying to be respectful. I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, I try. When I control them, he's not a complete douchebag, but when uh, he's free to act on his own, apparently he is. I feel like a, a deity trying desperately to guide people to not be the worst, but then they are continuously the worst. Yeah, we shouldn't be going to this cabin. At all. There's no reason for this. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. wax museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Good job. Yes! Good job, Jess. Oh, well, you're fucked. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? Uh, <laughs> Watch this be, like, the safest playthrough of Until Dawn. <laughs> oh, lol, 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 another sex joke. The, what the best? Maybe don't walk on the tracks. When there's a murderer around. Everyone's boots are so dumb. Well, let's see who's gonna die this time. I don't want to go. There's no good reason to I apologize if you can hear my cat whining in the, ma in the background. He has been incredibly surly all day. And he also doesn't like 
jump scares. I don't... So there is a creepy old mine. Going to Trope City. Oh. Whoa. Mystical symbol. This is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Something gross. Just a matter of time. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. So how are you guys doing? You guys tried to play this game? I I'm not doing too hot. Jesus. There's a lot of danger. This is a real fixer upper. A lot of chains. You know, I was wondering, because I know about like the scene where like the dude is sawed in half. Uh, I was wondering why there would be a saw in just someone's lodge or a sanatorium, and this being a logging camp and a mining camp. That makes sense, actually. So. This kind of makes me want to watch My Bloody Valentine again. Not the not the remake, uh, the original. Which is a very good horror film you should watch. The pacing's a little weird, but it has one of those, like, ka endings that we need more of in horror. Ah, the cabin. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Hey, Jess? Mm hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Good, <gasps> good. Michael. I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bam. Come on, please. Come on. Why would you? Let's not hug a bam. Uh, yeah, exactly. Do, do, like, there's enough that's gonna kill you already. Going and trying to find a bear to hug. Oh, video game.
This moment of startling clarity brought to you by Pepsi Max. Ugh. I don't want to go down there. This is where people get sawed in half. I would be interested in looking at a guide and try to do a perfect playthrough of this where you save everybody, but it seems like it'd be way hard. And not nearly as fun. Oh no, Sting is coming! ahead, girl, because that's how you get dead. Well, we know you're not going to get dead, but we know he's going to get dead, so that bridge is going to wash out at some point. Cabin. Oh, well, she's done for. Yes. Good job. Did no one like light switches in this place? Alright, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Yeah. She looks a lot like Buffy. You know, the vampire slayer. His outfit is very... OG Buffy. I have no idea where I'm going. I mean, I guess I could do this and they'll tell me. I hope you can start a new story at any time. Just in case you, you got everyone dead. It's like he's sacrificing his friends. 
you go start the generator and then go have sex in the cabins because that's a safe idea. You go to the basement and start the hot water de device. No. Ugh. Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into Some sort of traumatic event? At this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> That's, this guy is really unsettling. I would not want to be alone with you know, Sam. this guy. I just wanted to say... What? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Yeah, we're here for you and your creepy, creepy ways. Yeah, my good times involve the heater already being on and no one going off into the woods! Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Institution-like. Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know. Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm yes. I mostly want to do everything I possibly can to keep Sam alive. I, uh, didn't move, but I guess Sam, please. I'm, tr I'm breathing. The, the, the moving is happening when, when I'm breathing because I have to do that in order to live. Holding my breath that time. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water 
I don't like those. I don't like those at all. So I get lightheaded because they go on too long and I hold my breath the whole time. I, I'm I'm doing it. Some of these controls are a little. I did that last time. Oh. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Five, girl. Mm. Yeah. His smile is so creepy. And of course, he's taking the key. You can no. eat shit and die, Josh. We should check it out. I don't want to be the only person that checks things out. Alrighty. Well, we're going to call this here before something really terrible happens. And just because I've got the heebie-jeebies. And we'll, we'll do more heebie-jeebieing in a future episode. Oh my god, this game. I am always tense, and my hands hurt, and I can't do this right now.